ムストリングス魔法だと聞いたことがないぞそんなのしかもあれはビッグバンダッシュ<笑>俺So, if you haven't been around the last couple of episodes, the summary is I love martial. Martial magic and muscles blends the best thing of like shonen, fantasy, and, and, Hogwarts, and Hogwarts or Harry Potter. Like, we just got to witness like basically a Quidditch game, right? And it's just so entertaining and so interesting. But before I talk about the whole episode, is I just want to commend Marshall for introducing another core plot character in Lance Crown. And in this one episode that felt really quick, mind you, they were able to introduce him, give him a, you know, give us a good idea of what he's driving towards, who he's driving towards it for. The hatred he had towards the、uh, magic of society or the society of Bureau of Magic or whatever it is. You know, the hatred he has towards them. And the reason he has that hatred is because for some reason, somehow his sister contracted a disease or a curse or something. But regardless of whatever she's sick with, is currently stripping her of her magic and she's losing the line on her face. And once this occurs, her parents. Governmental obligation h a v e to turn her into the government to basically dispose of her. And he's like, I refuse to let that happen because he made it very clear that he's a cis con. <laughs> he's, you know, he has a sister complex and he loves his little sister. So he can actually be a really good friend and somebody really close to Marshall, considering how powerful Marshall is without having any magic. And the fact that Marshall even exists at all. Is a rarity because these magicless people don't get to exist in this world. So I just find that fascinating、uh, that this character was introduced. And he also gave him a silver coin and all this stuff. But immediately I felt compelled to kind of side with him. Now I don't side with, with Lance's actions, I think that he's taking the wrong approach. But what's driving him to make these rash decisions, I definitely do empathize with. And I think that's what's magnificent of the, the magnificent of this show is that it got me in 20 minutes to empathize and really, like, yeah, I get why this guy is like, what, I get what his motivator is in the world. And I understand it. And I understand that he wants to so desperately save his sister that th- that's going to drive him to make some really stupid decisions in his life. Because he's trying to achieve this goal wholeheartedly. So I really, you know, I appreciate that. And I, I appreciate the fact that this was sprinkled over the fact that we also got a really funny episode. We got to see、uh, MASH do his thing. We got to see him use hamstring magic. We got to see him do the Big Bang Dash.、Uh, you know, we got to see him、uh, have different characters fondle over him. You know, we got to see him rule the match of Quidditch where he just grabbed the ball. He put a little English on it. He made the ball a boomerang and set a record for this little Quidditch game. You know,、uh, he got called a bamboo that's growing. Like a lot of awesome things happened this episode, and I really appreciate it. One more thing the episode did is it also gave us really strong insight and education on how the line system works, on how they have lines on their face. So basically, 98, 99% of society in the magical society that is encompassing this world has one mark, and the mark indicates magical power. In very rare cases, there are people with multiple marks, and The people with multiple marks i n d i c a t e s that they have stronger, they possess more magic and they have stronger magic prowess versus others naturally. These people are about one in 100,000 of a rarity. So they, they probably encompass less than a percent of total magic society. 
So when they're born, they're a rare occurrence and people tend to take notice of them, which is exactly what Lance Crown is. So we have the magic list, the normies, and then we have this 1%, less than 1%, 0.01% 0.01% of this of the magic society that has multiple lines on their face that indicates magic. So the episode not only provides us entertainment and laughter and seriousness and a new character and a character that is driven by a very real thing in his life, we also got a school lesson or a education on the magic system and how it's it's handled and everything as well. So really appreciate this episode. I thought it was really excellent. Uh, I love the, the way they do everything. I like that uh, they allowed Lance to smack talk for a while. I like how he got embarrassed by MASH. Uh, I like how MASH has continued to use his just raw power to overcome this guy. And even MASH himself at the end of his bat with Lance, uh, with, with Lance, even at the end of his, you know, spat with Lance, he was like, I wonder what would have happened if we fought for realsies. All right, let me know what you guys thought of this episode down in the comments below. As always, appreciate you guys being here. Talking way too fast because I can. Auction. Uh, anyways, leave me a comment on what you guys thought. Appreciate you guys being here. If you're watching this on Friday when it's releasing, have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to see you guys next week for episode number five. All right, my friends. Peace.